find the derivative using the definition for this function here, one over the square root of x. So the definition of the derivative that we are going to use is the following. So f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So this is the derivative of the function at x. So we'll start by simplifying this part here. And then at the very end, we'll go ahead and take the limit and we will be done. So solution. So let's start by writing down the difference quotient. So f of x plus h minus f of x, it's all being divided by h. So this is equal to, so f of x plus h uh, means we have to evaluate f of x at x plus h. So we look here at 2f of x, and we simply replace the x with x plus h. So this is 1 over the square root of x plus h minus 1 over the square root of x. It's all being divided by h. So now we can actually uh, perform the subtraction here. So to do that, we'll do it the following way. I'm going to take a shortcut. So this is all over h. So I'm going to put this line here and the h. And in the numerator, the LCD, least common denominator, is going to be the product of these two uh, square roots. So it'll be square root x plus h, square root x. And then the shortcut way is you just write down the LCD, and then it's 1 times, and then what's missing here to get your LCD is the square root of x, minus 1, write this number here, times what's missing here is going to be the square root of x plus h, just like that. All right, let's keep going. So this is equal to... So we have all of this divided by h. So when you divide by h, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So it's really the square root of x minus the square root of x plus h over the square root of x plus h square root of x times 1 over h, right? Because division is multiplication by the reciprocal. I remember the goal is to take the limit as h approaches 0. So, so far, you know, if we plug in 0 for h, it's not going to work. So we're not quite there yet. So this is equal to, I'm going to go ahead and put the h in the front down, down here on the bottom. So this is h square root x plus h square root x. Then we have square root x minus the square root of x plus h. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to rationalize the numerator. So we're basically going to multiply by one in a clever way. This is just a, a nice technique to do on problems like this. So this will be the square root of x. So we're gonna switch the sign here, plus square root of x plus h. So this is called rationalizing the numerator. And you can't just put it up top, you have to put it on the bottom as well. We're basically just multiplying by one in a very, very clever way. And now we're going to use a familiar formula, right? This is, think of this as a minus b times a plus b. And that's the difference of squares formula. And that's equal to a squared minus b squared. So we're going to apply that formula here. So our a is the square root of x. So when we square it, it's just going to give us x. So it's x minus, and then you square this one, so the square root goes away. So it just gives you x plus h over, I'm going to make a really big over here, <laughs> big line. So we have h square root x plus h square root x parentheses square root x plus square root x plus h. So now the, um, the x's will cancel. So we're left with negative h over all of this stuff here. So I'll write it again. I'll write a little bit smaller. h square root x plus h square root x parentheses square root x 
plus square root x plus h. And finally, we are at the point where the h's go away. <laughs> so we have, so we have negative one over, we have all of this stuff left on the bottom. So square root x plus h, good stuff. Square root x, parentheses, square root x plus square root x plus h. All right. And so now we're ready to take the limit, right? Let's go ahead and do that. I'll do it up here. So finally, make it seem long and dramatic. <laughs> the derivative of f at x is equal to the limit as h approaches zero of this quantity here. So this is negative one over parentheses, uh, square root x plus h, square root x, parentheses, square root x, plus square root x plus h. Good stuff. You just plug in zero now, so this is negative one. So now we drop the limit sign. So it's gonna be, h is zero, so we'll get, you can just write a little bit bigger, so this is zero. So it'll be square root x, square root x, parentheses, square root x, plus square root x, right? Because this one is zero, and then this one is zero, so you're left with the square root of x is square root of x, square root of x plus square root of x. So the square root of x times the square root of x is x. So you have negative one over x, and then here you have the square root of x plus the square root of x. So there's two of them, so it's two square root x. Okay, so this is equal to negative one over two. And you can write this as x, and then the square root of x is x to the one half, right? Same thing. And so this is equal to negative one over, now you can add the exponents. One plus one half is three halves. So it's two x to the three halves. And that would be the derivative of this function. So quite a bit of work um, compared to a lot of the other ones. And just a quick recap, I think, um, you know, the way to do it, you know, this is the way I did it. Uh, there's probably other ways, uh, but this was, you know, the way that came to me uh, right now. And basically we just performed the subtraction and then we got to this point here. And then um, we rationalize the numerator and then it just works out, right? It works out nicely after you make that step. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.